actually been working at Healthy Plus Cross Borders. We've been here for 18 years now. And this is the first time anything of this magnitude has happened to uh, Healthy Plus Cross Borders. And of course, we all feel it deeply. Our medical trailer was stolen with about $23,000 worth of equipment in it. We are a nonprofit. We rely on donations, grant money. So it's really sad for everybody that our stuff was just taken away from us like that. Nobody cared. We've been really lucky. We've had quite a few other organizations such as ours. They pitched in and helped with some supplies so that we can continue this one trip. It was a six day um, clinic that we have going on. We are doing clinics um, about every three months, easy for five to six days um, each time. Our, our uh, volunteers fly in from all over the country. Uh, we have several here that have flown in from Florida, Texas, uh, Missouri, everywhere. So it was really important for us to continue our work since everybody was already here. We had ultrasound machines inside of their surgery tables. We've had crates in there. Um, uh, surgery instruments, we've uh, catheters, all these things that we need day to day to perform what we do. We lost thousands of dollars of antibiotics, unfortunately, that help treat these little babies. We're helping Paws Across Borders, a nonprofit that provides free spay and neuter vaccination services to the Pueblos of New Mexico and internationally. Prior to a week long clinic, on the night of March 9th, our trailer with nearly all of our clinic supplies was stolen. Thanks to the generosity of others, we were still able to hold the clinic and we sterilized 135 animals, which prevents untold numbers of unwanted litters. Unfortunately, as a result of the theft, we were unable to administer all of the medications that we have in the past, such as flea and tick preventative and heartworm preventative. We do need to replace and restock the trailer and supplies so that we can be ready for our clinic in May. So we're reaching out with a GoFundMe page, hoping to raise at least $35,000 to this end. This was a devastating loss, but with your help, we can hopefully continue providing these needed services both locally and internationally. Remember, every animal deserves kindness.